Hello everyone, thank you for joining me again at Mary's Little House. We've had quite a stormy Sunday Sunday afternoon. Uh, it uh, blew a fuse in our air conditioner and, and made our uh, computer sort of wacky and, and our, um, our cable sort of not working either. But we're back to normal and I'm, I'm, I'm so glad I could share with you the beautiful gospel that you heard read, proclaimed this Sunday. The gospel according to Matthew, uh, Ch Matthew 11, 25, 30. It's one of my favorites. Uh, I, 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 when I want to uh, show, encourage people, I, I use this gospel. Uh, whether they uh, suffer the loss of a loved one and they're so burdened and with grief or, or they're under great financial pressure they are, are whatever uh, they have a, their heart is broken o uh, over a relationship that that just didn't uh, work out whatever the, the burden whatever the the problem whatever the the suffering whatever the grief this this gospel Jesus is just showing his heart uh, he, he said, learn of me, for I am uh, meek and gentle of heart. Uh, he, he's just, he wants us to be like him. And, and he talks about, uh, and let me just read that. Uh, it's an invitation, and, I, and I, for all of you out there suffering from anything, he's talking to you, to you personally. He loves you so much. He feels for you. He has great sympathy for you. He has great empathy for you in your suffering, in your grief, in your uh, whatever you are experiencing, in your uh, 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 burdens, whatever they might be. Uh, and he loves you. He embraces you in your 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 need. Uh, anyway, he, he says this to us. And, and the gospel was the Sunday. This Sunday's gospel read all over the world, uh, so all over the being Catholics that heard this gospel proclaimed, and and even our Protestant brothers and sisters who who have adopted our lectionary, they heard it too today. Uh, uh, so it's it's this is the gospel of the Sunday of the fourteenth uh, Sunday in ordinary time, uh, the Matthew eleven twenty five thirty. Come to me, all you who are weary and find life burdensome, and I will refresh you. Take my yoke upon your shoulders and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble of heart. Your souls will find rest, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. Today the Holy Father took that up in this same gospel at, at his Angelus address at St. Peter's Square. He, 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 he invited everyone or uh, our extended that invitation of Jesus from the, the gospel. Come to me, all you who are weary and find life burdensome. He described how the world is, if the rich countries are, are just feel, are unhappy and, and, and lots of depression. The poor countries are, are so, are being crushed by the high price of food and, 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 and their conditions. Uh, their desperate conditions. He, he reaches out to the poor, the rich and the poor uh, and, 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 and calls them, uh, us, uh, we who are suffering any of the burdens that, that, uh, of our lives, to, to, to heed the invitation of Jesus. Come to me, all you who are weary and find life burdensome, and I will refresh you. Uh, he, he, he says, well, there, there's only one thing we have to do, to, to take this invitation and it's what, what is it and he says uh, he says this or he reminds us take my yoke upon your shoulders and lump, learn from me for I am gentle and humble of heart but so th the way we come to him is to take the yoke the yoke in this case is not a heavy uh, grinding uh, a burden, a weight, weighted thing. It's something that, um, um, that, that, that 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 is freeing. Uh, to, so the way we, uh, what is this yoke? It's being um, gentle and humble of heart. It's being loving and compassionate to others. 
It's being, uh, it's, it's, for, it's, it's giving up violence. It's being nonviolent in our words or in our thoughts or in our actions. It's giving up all of that. It's only th that yoke uh, is, is, it, uh, will, will give us, will give us jo joy and happiness, will, will lift us in, in our, the burdens that we have. It's being humble. We're no longer in competition anymore. Our world is full of competition, uh, the wrong kind. Oh, good baseball game or a good soccer game or whatever. That's healthy and good. I'm not talking about that. But, but the, to, to, to be in that terrible rat race of keeping up with the Joneses, as we say in America, uh, uh, it's, we don't have that anymore because when we come to Jesus, we become humble and compassionate. We become servants to the others. That lifts our burden. And 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 and, 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 we, we, and what what is the end result? He he says it here. Jesus says, "Your souls will find rest, for my yoke is easy and my burden light." That's it's wonderful. I'm going through as many burdens too, like everybody else. I'm in solidarity with the poor, uh, and it's wonderful to be that way. I'm in solidarity with Jesus, uh, who identifies with the poor. What you did to the least of my brothers, you did to me. But 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 once, if I just thought about the burdens that I have, I would be crushed, and I wouldn't. I would wouldn't want to do this YouTube. I would want to go and. And cuddle up in a corner and 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 have a pity party and maybe someone would notice me or something. I don't know all those ways we used to manipulate people, but but no, we, he calls me and you to come to him at, uh, who, who find life burdensome, uh, weary and find life burdensome, and he will refresh us. And how do we refresh us? By taking up the yoke, my yoke that is easy, uh, my yoke that is easy and my burden light, this yoke of being meek and humble and, and, uh, and gentle with others. Uh, it's the yoke of being, of loving, of the yoke of love of others. And that's our, the secret of our, and we talked about that in our other YouTube, the secret of happiness is when we can give ourselves and love to the other. Well, this makes us, uh, uh, it, 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 this yoke is a way we will be refreshed by Jesus. This yoke is the way, uh, is easy and, 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 and uh, uh, that is easy and make, we will find rest. That's the yoke in which we will find rest. Being like Jesus, meek and gentle and humble of heart. So it's so beautiful. So all you people out there, where is your burden? What's crushing you? What's giving you such a, uh, afraid to see the morning sun, afraid to face the day? Come to, Jesus is saying to you, to you personally, and he loves you so much and he's, he's suffering with you uh, 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 in this burden. Uh, he identifies with you. Come to me, all you who are weary and find life burdensome and I will refresh you. Take my yoke upon your shoulders and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble of heart. Your souls will find rest, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. God bless you people. Thank you for the privilege of, of, of being with you and, and, and sharing your burdens and letting me share mine with you. Thank you for the privilege of, of helping me uh, uh, grow in, in, in our, my life my love for Jesus by sharing it with you and all the feedback and all the love you you have when I many times throughout the, these days and these these sessions that I receive from you God bless you now